Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 38 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So for this one, we have a PV graph, right? And we have a square tell us the process for the gas. Now we can see, we can list what is given quantities. The first given quantity tell us from A to C, this process. Right, we can say A to C, first part is pressure constant, then B to C is volume constant, right? And it tells us the work done by the gas, W is given, so WAC is given negative 35, and QAC is given as a negative 36, right? And also tell us the work done by the A, B, C is negative 40, 54. Now ask you to find the Q for A, B, C. So in this one, how can we solve it? A, B, C, we can consider the relationship between Q and W. We always come up with the equation for the change of the internal energy, right? So now the change of internal energy for A, B, C need to equal to the Q, A, B, C minus the W, A, B, C, agree? And this uh, W, A, B, C, the work, A, B, C is given, so we input it inside, it's negative uh, 5, 4. Now, it looks like if we want to find the heat, a, B, Q, A, B, C, we need to know delta E, internal cha uh, change, internal energy change along A, B, C. Can you find it? So how can you find internal energy change from A, B, C? We can see the internal energy changes, the initial point A, final point C. So it is just equal to the internal energy change from A to C, agree? See? Now it's become easy. The internal energy change A to C, we know the Q, we know QAC, we know WAC. So in this one, we input it inside, get answer there. Now you can see in this uh, equation, this part is a number, right? It's given. This part you can find at there. So can you find the Q? Sure, so easy. The Q A B is equal to delta E internal A B C then move this part this uh, to the left hand side and then input the internal energy change abc negative 28 you get answer there right not so difficult the second part i tell you another condition is the power oh no sorry the pressure pc equal to half of the pb ask you what is the work done by C, D, A, so C, D, A, how can we do that? We can come to zero. So we just list what is given, right? We just find the work done by A, B, C. From this part, we can write it there. The work done by A, B, C is a negative 46, or uh, 5, 4. Now, we can see, we know how much work done is A, B, C, and then can you find how much work done on C, D, A? It looks like mirror symmetry, so we can list them together, right? So we can write the equation for how much work done, the equation for work by A, B, C, and the equation for work C, D, A, right? Now we can look at A, B, C. We can see it include two parts, A, B, and B, C. For A, B, Can you write the work? Yes, the pressure. We can write it as PB because B is given there. So PB and the change of the volumes. So VB minus VA, right? Yes. Now, can you write the work done by BC part? Yes, zero. Because the volumes change is zero. Now we look at the C, D, A. So we can see the work done by C, D part. Can you write it? 
Yes, use PC times VD minus VC. Agree? Yes. Now, can you write the volumes? Or can you write the work done by D, A? Sure, zero, because the volume never change. So now we can write functions for C, D, A, and uh, A, B, A, B, C, right? You just input these four equations inside. You can, you can see, you find it there, find it there. Now, you can see, this part is given. This part is unknown. Another part given is a ratio for PC to PB. Now, can you find relationship between these two data? So, like the volume changes from D to C, just equals the volume changes of the A to B, agree? So, in this case, we can write the equation here. The negative side equals just tell us the direction is opposite. Because this is a perfect square, so this silence equal to this part, right? Now we can use this equation, equation 1 over equation 2. So this one over this one, we can see there is a negative sign. We can find this is WCDA over WABC equal to negative, negative PC over PB, right? And this is given at zero, so you can write it as negative one half. Now you can see this part is given, so very easily you can find the WCDA. So the next part, how can you find the Q on the CDA? Is it difficult? A little bit, but we can see now we just get the work for CDA, so we need to find the in the change of internal energy, right? Then find the Q. So in this case, it looks like we only need to find the internal energy change. CDA just equal to Q CDA minus the W CDA. This part we just get it, right? Now next question: How can you find the CDA? Then we come back. We can see what we know there. Um, we know from A to C. This is, uh, it tell us negative 28, right? We just, uh, from the very beginning, uh, the energy changes, the internal energy changes from A to C is this one. And from C, D, A, just uh, reverse the process, a great reverse the process. So we have it equal to negative internal change for A to C. So it is 28 joules. Now in this equation, we can see this part is given at zero. This part we just find it in previous. So you can just get a Q. So easy. Right? Now the next one, can you find is the energy difference, internal energy changes from A to C? Hmm? Any difference? So this part we can just write it as the internal energy changes from C to A. We just talk about it is opposite directions for the internal energy changes for A to C, right? So add the negative size here, we get the answer there. The next, next part is the last part. Tell you the internal energy changes D to C is 12 joules. Ask you to find the Q for D, A. In this case, we need to find D, A. So it looks like we need to find the internal energy changes from D, A, right? And this tell you D, C. So because we need to find this part, this is what we want to know. Now, can you find the work done from D to A, zero? Because this part, the delta V equal to zero. Agree? So zero. Now it looks like this Q just equal to internal energy changes from D to A. How can we do that? Yes, we can see um, the internal energy changes for D to A just use the internal energy A minus internal energy D, right? Now, what, what is given? The thing given is about the C and the D. It's nothing with the A. So it looks like we need to 
input is a C inside, right? Because it's D A, it has the A. But it's the thing we know is about the D C or something. So it looks like we need to input the C inside. So for first term, we minus E C. For second term, we also minus E C, right? Yeah, this is still equals small trick. Now for this term, you can see it just equal to delta E C A minus delta E C D, right? This one is given. This one is given. So you input it inside. Get the answer there. Thank you.